what's going on guys this is Boo Tramp playing boom bitch on this video guys I'm gonna be showing some awesome operation attacks on the operation choke point and there's definitely some Zuka masters there and when I'm saying Zuka master they control all Zookas really great and I do have problems controlling them like that and I want to show you guys on uh, the first attack on the base and the downfall of the base so let's rock and roll here the first attacker is 2k level 50 688 medals or victory points and this is the whole action guys 207 task force points available he's using the troop combo heavies and zookas so right now he's positionizing and relocating his heavies and zookas on the right side there covering them up with smoke screen and then he actually rolls over to the right side of the base here using another smoke screen and covering his way up there um i would actually uh clean some of the power cells before I actually move like this because uh, it's absolutely free gunboat energy and getting free gunboat energy means like you're getting uh, 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 more shocks on the defensive buildings and um, it's really really good to have a lot of gunboat energy so let's see what happens right now the heavies are jumping out of the smoke and the Zookas is actually following here and that is actually great because the, the heavies right now is actually absorbing all of the damage look at this look at the flame flamethrowers trying to burn the heavies I mean like come on bro come on bro you're gonna be burning my heavies i'm gonna be blasting you down with my machine gun and my my zookas from behind boom boom yes okay so right now um it's pretty great it looks great uh he's losing a lot of heavies though and look how fast he goes down after the wall is gone and when i'm saying the wall that is the heavies they're actually the one that's soaking up all the damage while the zookas from behind is doing the damage and look at this all of the uh, the heavies or the wall is gone right now. The mortars is tossing madly mortars on the Zookas and the rocket launchers is gonna pretty much finish off the Zookas like that and hand blasted like a fishy guacamole. But anyways, a really good try on the first attack there on Axiom made by 2K. So let's see the downfall of the base and we're gonna be jumping over to this. So the the the, the, uh, the uh, guy that took down the Axiom is actually B I H a Grand Master, and uh, I saw this attack live, and I was like shocked. I was like, oh my daggers of the dangle berries! Yes, it was so crazy. Look at this. So he's gathering up his Zook is here. And it's relocating them very, very carefully, moving over or close to the shock launcher and the rocket launcher. First, I was thinking like, okay, uh, how are you actually going to be pulling this off? There's actually a shock launcher on the north side there. So let's see what happens. We covered up his Zookas here. And look at this. So he's, sh he's flaring over to the rocket launcher, shocking the machine gun and the shock launcher and the rocket launcher. He smoke screened again and he actually moved over to the shock launcher on the north side. What is going on? This beast. I mean, like, uh,. Just popping out from the smoke screen, taking out some buildings, and then you do another smoke. That's really cool. I love attacks like that. And it's really rare to see uh, people uh, using Zookas like this. That you jump out of the, from the smoke and you you uh, you relocate your Zookas uh, to another location. That is so awesome. So this is actually how Axiom is taken down right now. All of you guys can see this. It's an awesome attack. He's tossing critters to protect the Zookas uh, from the cannons because the cannons are actually doing one shot on the Zookas and is actually giving all of those damage on the critters uh, instead of those Zookas. So he relocated his Zookas right here on the north side of the power core. And nothing is hitting the uh, the Zookas. Woo! Oh my dangle the berries. Oh my dangle berries. It's, it's it is tickling inside my belly, guys. It is tickling inside my belly. Wow. Took down Axiom B I H Grand Master with the, the Zookas. I call him the uh, Zuka Master in the Task Force. Definitely awesome attack. So we're gonna be jumping over to another base. We're gonna be checking out. We're not done yet, and we're gonna be checking out the base Dredge, attacking by by Omega. So let's see how Omega uh, did it on this attack, attacking Machina. Uh, it actually looks very scary. I mean, like, there's a shock launcher there on the south side of the base. And we have, like, tons of rocket launchers surrounding the base. Let's see what happens. So, it's clearing out the mines here. Dropping out some smoke screen to cover the warriors. And the warriors <laughs> is upon the uh, the shock launcher right now. And it's taking down some of the rocket launchers right now. Two rocket launchers. Three. Almost three. Oh, man. I struggle saying three. 
Huh, is it like three or three? My girlfriend is like, come on, baby boy, you need to see, you need to say the number three correctly. I was like, Dangleberry girl, you, you want some Dangleberry? Cause uh, I do struggle saying three or three or whatsoever, but it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to to say my experience yesterday. My girlfriend was dissing me before because I couldn't say the number three. Oh man, it's a lot of spit in my mouth when I'm saying three. So hard. So hard, guys. Anyways, uh, an, uh, an attack on the Machina. This is the first attack, and uh, it actually does look. And actually, it's 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 the last attack. It's the downfall of the Machina. He's relocating Zookas to the left side of the base here. Look at this sweet damage from the Zookas. They're so powerful. I mean, like wow, TNT damage. Boom! It's like that, guys. It's like that. So 151 task force points just absorbed from this base. Mm -mm -mm. Let me drink all of those task force points. Boom. Okay, so who's the next base here? So we were on the mechanics. Now it's the dredge. It's dredge. Or is it dredge? Yes, it's going to be dredge. So it's attacking by Omega here. It's actually using uh, barrages on those boom mines and mines. And he's gonna be working on those shock launchers because the shock launcher is definitely devastating for any combos out there. And he's dropping out those warriors. Look, the warriors so ready to smack those shock launcher. And it's gonna be shocking the flamethrower, of course. Because when the flamethrower is burning and the warriors, we can just say goodbye, goodbye, boom. Yes, like that, like a fish. So. He took down like three shock launchers. Oh my god, that's pretty insane. I, oh my god, this is crazy, guys. Look at that. Three shock launchers taking out Wilder's tons of rock launchers active. That was a really great attack. So let's see the downfall. Attacking by PM Nuker level 52. And we're gonna be checking out the HQ and as you see here, the HQ got like 1% here. So basically it's dropping down barrage and two shells. We're gonna be checking out the next base to be taken down. And that is hmm, what is after the dredge? Assembly. Okay, assembly is a new base. We're gonna be attacking here, attacked by new gate, and it's like 179 task force points available here. So it's using warriors here. Uh-huh. What is the plan here? So I guess like those rocket launchers are going to be going down. So he's, uh, he lost a lot of warriors already. And that means a lot of power, power, uh, powers lost. Power, fire, power, power. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> he took down three rock launchers there. Pretty awesome attack. Pretty awesome with warriors. So let's see the downfall of the, uh, the assembly attacked by Sh Xiao Zhu. Xiao Zhu. What's up, man? What's up? I definitely see you very active on the uh, the task force chat. And by the way, guys, if you want to join the Boot Ramps Blast, that is my task force. Make sure you have like 600 victory points and you have like maxed up warriors or close to maxed up warriors. And same with the Zookas, uh, because I we definitely need some help on the uh, the bigger bigger operations. We definitely want to attack the massive attacks, but we're not ready to attack the massive attacks, but we're very very soon ready to do it. So right now, assembly is attacked by Zookas and the Zookas are just blasting down this power. Core, Xiao Zhu pretty much run around, ran around the whole base and positioning himself on the top of the HQ like that. So it just went down. Really awesome attack, bro. So let's see the last attack. I think it's the last attack. And the last attack is gonna be or not. We actually have like Dyxin here. We're gonna check it out the Dyxin. I forgot about Dyxin. Uh-huh. We're gonna be checking out this base. Uh, I mean, like, it, it looks really scary. Two rocket launchers there and four rocket launchers. Okay, so he's tossing grenadiers out or grenades or grenadiers and tossing just uh, madly with damage here. Uh, trying to get those uh, GPEs and firing down uh, some of the defensive buildings up there with barrages and the tourist shells. And as you see there, the rocket launcher is barely taking damage from the barrage here. So, uh,. We're gonna be having some fun. We're gonna be having some fun. Oh man, air in, in, air in my throat, guys. Air in my throat. Never mind. So, uh, I don't think we're gonna be watching the whole Grenadier tosses here. Uh, so, I do think that we can just uh, jump over to the next um, next attack, and that's the downfall. Let's go ahead and just scroll down right there. So, it's attacked by Omar. Let's see Omar's attack. So, 
shock launcher there. He's taking out the shock launcher, but the question here is, um, uh, how, how many, how how many gunboat energy does he have here? How does he actually move his Sukas up there? You, he actually used like barrage already in two artillery shells on the uh, the shock launcher. That means he's been using a lot of gunboat energy already, and he's positioning his uh, Zukus very good here. Pretty much covering the whole thing here, the whole run, it's covering up the Zookas, and from here, shocking the flamethrower, so the Zookas are not getting hit by the flamethrower, and look at this perfect positionizing of the Zookas, he took out the more there, that was really scary, and of course, tossing a, a, a smoke screen upon the Zookas, but no problem, the more is not hitting the Zookas, another great attack, another awesome Zooka, old Zook attack, a Zooka master, Another Suka Master right there in the banana. So the next attack is gonna be like, or the next base is gonna be Commodore. Yes, the first attacker is actually Vito Dara. And uh, from uh, what you guys see here, uh, it's not too hard base. Uh, the only hard thing here is actually uh, getting inside there on the HQ because there's a lot of things covering the uh, the HQ. A lot of mines, a lot of boom mines, flame towers, boom cannons, and uh, it's it must be a uh, uh, Zuka to take it down, and I know what's gonna be happening on that attack is the one that's taking down this operation base is me guys and I, I i absolutely remember i did this attack and i was so happy to take down the base because i mean like i was sure i was gonna be failing because uh old zookas is not my specialty uh i do think it's really hard to use it because uh if you do something wrong with your smoke screen uh if there's a spot there uh, that makes your Zookas visible and there's a rocket launcher active and uh, able to target your Zookas, you're going to be losing it all, guys. You're going to be losing it all. So, right now, uh, Vito Dari is just uh, gathering up all of the gunboat energy he can get here and uh, did a great cleanup here for the old Zooka to run in. So, let's jump in here to the next attack and that is the downfall attacked by me, Boots Ramp. And uh, I was just uh, super nervous when I was attacking this. I didn't say anything on the task force chat uh, when I logged in. I just, I just actually went in there like a ninja uh, and uh, attacked this base. So let's see what happened here. I was placing my Zooka so wrong here. Look at this. I mean, like, they were so spread, spread it out so much. And the rock launchers were firing my Zooka. I was in great pain here. And I was in a great chaos and panic. It was like, oh, my daggers. And there was a mine there. And uh, my Zookas were so low of HP and I, th I thought like I was going to be losing all of the Zookas. But uh, I was lucky I didn't lose all of the Zookas. So right now I'm going to be shocking like the mortars and the machine gun and the flamethrower. And I was like hoping, I was like hoping, come on Zookas, you got to do more damage. You got to do this fast because those flamethrowers are not going to be waiting on burning my Zookas. And as you see there, I already lost some Zookas from the burn there. I was a bit too slow on, on shocking the flamethrower. And uh, I was hoping that the, sh the Zookas were out of the range uh, for the Zookas to not to uh, get fired on. But yeah, there we go. Uh, the mortars are definitely getting shocked there. And I actually, I actually ran out of gunboat energy. And the mortars was tossing wildly on my Zookas. I was like, come on, come on. Fire down the power core with the Zooka power, and it just went down like that. I was like, yes, the super lucky. It was super fun. It was super intense, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember to leave a like and comment down below if there's anything at all. And if you want to join Bootrim's Blast, my task force, make sure you're very close on the maxed up warriors and Zookas. And uh, be active and have 600 victory points. So anyways, see you on the beaches. Goodbye.